As we are given this sum, the final term and the common difference, we're going to use the slightly lesser known formula for the sum of an arithmetic progression, Sn equals n over 2, 2an, two where an is the final term, minus n minus 1 times d. Plugging in our values, we get 8550 equals n over 2, 2 times 318 minus n minus 1 times 6. Cleaning this up, we get 17100 equals 636n minus 6n squared add 6n. Get it even cleaner, 6n squared minus 642n add 17100 equals 0. Divided by 6 gives us n squared minus 107n add 2850 equals 0. Factorising this, we get n minus 50 n minus 57 equals 0. So on first glance, we get n equals 50 and n equals 57 as two solutions. But in actual fact, given that the sequence contains positive and negative integers, the answer n equals 57 e is correct because the first term, if there were only 50, would be 24, whereas the first term with 57 terms is minus 18, which satisfies the positive and negative integers.